Hello and welcome to the Den of Iniquity. Um, you may or may not have been tuning in over the while when I've been doing these. You know, wouldn't be surprised if you know you only caught this for half a cent. Anyway, once upon a time I pleaded with people about a, an up and coming TV show called Constantine. I brought the fact that um, I was very much looking forward to it and that I was scared that they would um, basically because the character is once again a comic book character being brought to the screen that perhaps they wouldn't be able to do it justice. In particular the notion that um, a character whose plotline at one point revolves around his smoking habit might actually be on screen not smoking. I at the time thought this would be a major problem and basically came up with a couple of ways they could approach it without actually having him smoke on screen. Today I'm here to say that man was I wrong about a lot of stuff. That show is awesome and they did it really, 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 really well. The TV show Constantine has, to my, as far as I'm concerned, more than lived up to what I was expecting. Especially since, upon seeing how they were doing a TV show, I got up off my arse and went back and started reading the old Hellblazer comics. For season one, I have identified at least three different stories that were taken ad lib from within the first eight or twelve issues of the comic. I mean, thinking about it, the fact that they went back, they're starting from the beginning, awesome sauce. They changed one or two things from the start. Um, they got rid of a character that they brought in the very in the pilot episode and replaced her with another female lead, also from the original comic, which, as far as I'm concerned, works fantastically. The stories, um, while appearing to be slow at times, I thought were very good for a starting run that is exploring a character, especially since um, it's... The Constantine character is very similar to another literary character, uh, Harry Dresden, who I might have mentioned before, written by Jim Butcher. Two characters very, very similar in their line of work and how they approach things. The fact that the Dresden Files unfortunately bombed as a TV show, and yes, as a fan of the books, I am aware that the episodes weren't exactly anything really like the books, but irregardless, the fact that that bombed and Constantine now looks to be able to actually live up to that standard is just awesome. Unfortunately, there are rumblings, or at least there were rumblings, that we wouldn't be getting to see a season two. The reason for this being that production had been basically stopped after the 13th episode, and it had been decided that that would be the end of the run. This apparently is a um, running theme sometimes when it comes to cancelling a series, you know, uh, prematurely, or, you know, if you don't want to continue it, you kind of stop the production line. So as a result, a lot of people panicked. And I gotta say, I was a little bit worried myself, because as I said, this series so far with its nods, it's, it's capturing the, the feel of the original stories, everything I thought was spot on. Plus, screw you Keanu! Now, fortunately, almost straight away um, there was like an animated series or something like that. Basically tongue in cheek and having the character John Constantine valiantly trying to track down, I believe it was the executive producer in the series, in kind of a tongue in cheek bid to implore with the creators, look, there is an audience, let us keep going. We know the ratings haven't been great, but guess what? The fans that are into this know that we can do something cool. I'm one of them! I'm saying it! You can do something cool! So the latest news being with this series that it might actually be given over to Sci-Fi, who last time I checked weren't very Sci-Fi-ish. Once upon a time you were a powerhouse, now you are a laughing stock. This might be your opportunity to change that. Apparently they are thinking about renaming it Hellblazer. Cool. That's what the comic was called. I'm happy days. Rock on. If ye take it, if ye do this, bear in mind ye have set a precedent with season one. That precedent, while not being ratings heavy, was fan heavy. That is why ye have been asked to do a season two. Remember that when it comes to what ye do. You've been doing excellent work so far. You've been giving honor to the characters that were written so long ago. And let's not forget, Hellblazer originally written about 19, mid 80s? Yeah, mid 80s. So fair do, Steve, for going back and getting those stories. It's what makes it awesome. Keep it up. Do not let it slide. Because let us not forget, you're the same people that brought us Sharknado and other such atrocities, as far as I'm concerned, I don't care what B-movie crap and how I get stoned. I don't think they're funny, but that's just me. Getting back on point. Give us Hellblazer. Stick with the kind of stuff they've been doing already. They're building something. You can see it from season one, they're playing a long game. Good. Let it develop. Let them flesh out the characters every now and then like they have been doing. Let them delve into that old, and let us not forget, 
unbroken 300 issue run of a comic. Good lords, how much do you have to take from? There is enough there to do... Okay, saying 10 seasons is a bit much. My point is, you're not going to run out of source material. Stick with the source material like what we've been doing and ye sci-fi who have taken over might redeem yourselves. Because let's face it, the last good stuff he did, Tom Call Eureka, Warehouse 13, Alphas. Where are they now? Do not let the Constantine character slip into the where are they now line. Not when you have a fan base as rabid as you can get. Do not let the notion of failing ratings from, I don't know, bad demographics or whatever other spin was put on it. Think that you can get away with haphazardly throwing something together and sticking it in our faces and expecting us to stick with it. Keep up the work that has been done. Honour the work that has been done. Do not fuck up. End of discussion.